my daddy left home when I was young. He didn't leave much for Ma and me, just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. I mean, I don't blame him because he ran and hid. The meanest thing that he ever did was before I left. He went and named me Sue. I mean, he must have thought that was quite a joke and it got lots of laughs from lots of folk. It seems I had to fight my whole life through. See, some girl giggle and I'd get red, but then some guy'd laugh and I'd bust his head. I tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. Well, I grew up quick and I grew up mean. My fists got hard and my wits got keen and I roamed from town to town just to hide my shame. But I did make me a bow to the moon and stars that I would search those honks and bars and I'd find that man that gave me that awful name. So it was Glasgow City, mid-July. I just hit town and my throat was dry and I, and I thought I'd stop and have an iron brew. But in an old pub on a street of mud, there at the table, heeling studs, sat a dirty, mangy dog named me Sue. I knew that snake from my own sweet dad from a worn out picture that my mother had. I knew that scar on his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and grey and burly and old and I looked at him and my blood ran cold but I said, my name is Sue, how do you do? Now you're going to die. That's what I told him and I hit him hard right between the eyes. And he went down but to my surprise, he come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. I smashed a chair right across his face. We crashed through the wall into the street, just kicking, gouging in the mud and the blood and the beer. Well, I tell you, I have fought tougher men, but I really can't remember when. I mean, he kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. Anyway, I heard him laugh. And then I heard him curse and he went for his gun. But I pulled mine first and he stood there looking at me and I saw him smile. And he said, son, this world is rough. And if a man's got to make it, he's got to be tough. And then you wouldn't be there to help you along. So I gives you that name and I said goodbye. I knew you'd have to get tough or die. And it's that name that helped to make you strong. Now you have just fought one hell of a fight. And I know you hate me and you've got the right to kill me now. I wouldn't blame you if you do. But you ought to thank me before I die for the gravel in your gut and the spit in your eye, even if I am the son of a gun that named you Sue. What could I do? What could I do? I got all choked up and I threw down my gun. I called him my paw and he called me his son and, and I came away with a different point of view. But do think about him now and then, every time I fight and every time I win. And if I ever have a son, I'll call him Frank or George, Bill or Tom, anything but Sue. I tell you, I still hate that name and that is a horrible thing to do.